I really haven't slept with that many people. Like, why am I crying right now? I'm whipped. Get me a lead and a collar. Not artificial. Next question I got is, are you a top or a bottom? This might surprise you. Hi everyone and welcome back to today's video. So today I'm back with like a girl talk TMI Q&A. Like no question is too much because I haven't done a Q&A for a really long time. I wanted to focus it on like girly topics and just have a little bit of like a girl talk. I've got my ice matcha latte, go get yourself a drink and we can just have a little girly chat. I feel like we're all missing that just like girly chit chat. So I thought I'd film this video just so you can get that like female energy into you right now. So I hope you enjoy this video. Before we do get into this video, I just want to mention that it is sponsored by Kenzie. This is a brand that I've worked with multiple times. You guys have definitely seen them before on my channel. I love them so much and I can't wait to tell you a little bit more about this later on in the video. So I actually went over to my Instagram and asked you guys to ask me questions for this video. So if you want to be included in a future video, definitely go follow me. My app is on screen right now. The first question I got was, is it really that bad to sleep in underwear? Personally, I think yes. I think if you sleep in underwear, every single day i feel like that just isn't good like you wear underwear all day let's just say you wear underwear all day yeah apart from when you're showering and peeing you might wear skinny jeans or leggings or something tight fitting and then you sleep in that same underwear that you've been wearing all day that just doesn't seem to be the healthiest thing to do or the best thing to do for down there i just feel like it's not I don't think it's the best thing to do. I feel like you could get some sort of like infection. You need to let it air out. Like humans weren't born to wear clothes. You know what I mean? Like we weren't put on this earth and given a pair of skinny jeans and a thong that is made out of lace that literally cuts you in half. We weren't born to wear things like this. You know what I mean? These things didn't exist when we were made. So I feel like wearing that all day and night probably isn't the best thing to do. I never sleep in underwear unless I'm sharing a bed with someone. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you I feel like you shouldn't wear underwear to bed. My next question is I can't shave without getting razor burn. Any advice? I'm so glad that I've got multiple I've got multiple questions about shaving. Another one is I have really bad facial hair, should I bleach it? I'm scared of shaving it off. There are so many questions about hair, body hair, everything. There are loads. And this video is actually sponsored by Kenzie. So this is the perfect way for me to slot this in here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you about laser instead of shaving because I don't like shaving. So before I do start talking about this, I wanna let you guys know that I have a full in-depth review on this where I go through literally every single thing about it. So if you wanna see a full in-depth review and like tutorial, I'll leave that linked in the description for you guys. I also have a $50 discount code. I know that so many of you guys have made use of it because you've been messaging me on Instagram letting me know that you bought it or you're about to buy it on payday. So that is exciting. This is amazing. I can't recommend it enough. And my discount code is on screen right now for you guys. Let me run you through this whole shaving thing because I've got multiple questions about shaving because I feel like, if I honestly feel like the honest answer is whenever you shave, you are going to get razor burn, at least down there. You know what I mean? I, I think that is just, you got to, like I, I don't think there's a way to avoid it um, and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with razor burn, there's nothing wrong with it. If you have razor burn and you're putting on a bikini, like don't worry about it. Everybody, everybody that shaves gets razor burn, which is why I'm saying that I think it's kind of unavoidable. So it's nothing to be insecure about. But I honestly don't think you can shave without getting razor burn. I have never been able to shave without getting razor burn, which is why I stopped shaving and started waxing. Shaving is honestly the most annoying thing in the world. You've got to do it like every single day if you want to be constantly smooth and you get razor burn, you get cuts. And I mean, it's so bad for the environment. Razors are like literally made out of plastic and metal and they just go into landfills. Like it's not the best for the environment. I started waxing, I used hair removal creams, I've tried literally so many things to get rid of my hair and nothing I actually liked. Waxing worked and yeah, it was really smooth and it lasted like quite a long time, two or three weeks maybe. But then there was that week in between where you had to let it grow back so you had to be really hairy for a week which I personally do not like. It is so painful. <laughs> it is so freaking painful. I cannot even like doing your own bikini wax so something that I was looking into getting and looking into doing was laser hair removal but if you've ever researched it you probably know that it is really really expensive to go to a salon get the laser done and again it's kind of uncomfortable having to go there and have someone like 
laser at your vagina like not the best not the best experience and I, I that makes me uncomfortable like giving me anxiety even talking about it like a random person like no no thank you so that really put me off it was like what say like 120 pound a session or something like that and it takes like 12 sessions and then oh my god like that's a lot of money and yes it's a permanent thing but also the awkwardness and the uncomfortableness and having to go back and forth to the salon every single week it just didn't fit in with my lifestyle so i just carried on waxing but that gets pretty awful pretty fast <laughs> let me tell you so when Kenzie reached out to me, I was so excited to try this because I had heard so many amazing things about it. I was a little bit skeptical because I was like, if this works, why doesn't everyone do it instead of going to get laser? But maybe it's just one of those like secrets that people don't want you to know about. I don't know because this thing works like magic. I'm kind of losing my voice. So this is literally amazing. It's an at-home laser treatment. It takes 12 sessions, you once a week for 12 weeks. And then I guess you just do it every now and again to like top up when your hair starts growing back. I noticed results after one week of using it. I kid you not, my hair was coming back finer, thinner. I'm pretty much finished with the course now and I haven't shaved for like two weeks, maybe. I'll get a video on my phone to show you how much hair is on my arm right now. Like it's only just starting to grow through. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it literally it barely even grows back it is so amazing i am so so impressed with this it's completely painless i'll show you right now what you do so you just press this button on the back to turn it on you press it again and again to higher the settings or lower the settings i put it on the max because i don't find it painful at all you just pop it on your arm hold it down for five seconds and it will turn on to auto mode and you just go up your arm like this literally probably takes 10 15 minutes to do your entire body i use it on my face on my arms look how easy that is the simplest thing yeah i use it like on my sideburns on my tash on my arms my underarms my bikini line i've used it like on my toes where i get little bits of hair um i use it on my legs obviously and it is just the most amazing thing and it's so fast you can do it while you're watching netflix and my hair does not grow back it is oh my god amazing I absolutely hate shaving and that feeling of putting on a summer dress and knowing that you haven't shaved and having to like dry shave or something like that no one wants that I hate that with this you just don't even need to shave it's literally amazing I love it so much I literally love this thing so much it's just incredible I can't believe how inexpensive it is and I've said this in my previous videos but with my discount code you get $50 off you could easily treat yourself to this it is an amazing product if you get waxed you could buy one of these which would cost the same as like three waxing sessions and this is going to last you forever. Oh my god, it's amazing. You could also split the cost with a friend or a roommate or a girlfriend or your sister or your mom, whoever, whatever person in your life that also likes to remove their hair. You might have a brother that likes to remove hair. You can literally split the cost with anyone and you can both use it. Me and Lou both use this and we love it. And this is literally just amazing. I cannot recommend it enough. I have said this before, but if you ever buy one thing that I talk about, this, definitely buy it. Like, please buy it. I feel like I'm doing you a favor. And, oh my god, it's just incredible. Like, I feel like I'm doing you a favor by telling you about this because I love it. I really love it. It's amazing. So yeah, like I said, I have a discount code for $50 off. There will be a link in the description for you guys to go check it out. Or you can go to their website, which is K-E-N-Z-Z-I.com. Don't forget to use my code, $50 off. This is literally amazing. And if you want to remove hair with no razor burn and no pain and just not have to do it after a couple of months, buy this. Literally incredible. I love it. You guys really don't give a fuck with these questions. As you shouldn't, ladies. Should you always have discharge and what's normal slash what's not? Um... I wouldn't say I'm not a doctor, not a doctor, not a medical professional. So this is my personal opinion. Um, I wouldn't say you should always have discharge. Like I don't think like from the minute you wake up to the minute you go to sleep, you should have discharge. I don't think that's normal, but like maybe a little bit every day or a little bit every other day. And I feel like if you're questioning whether it's normal or not, it might not be normal. You know what I mean? Like it shouldn't smell bad. It shouldn't be like green or like anything like that. I feel like if you're questioning whether it's normal or not, it might not be normal. Or maybe is it just because this isn't really spoken about so people don't know what is normal? I don't know. I don't know. 
The next question I got is, does body hair on your partner gross you out? Sometimes I can't be bothered to shave. Um, you wouldn't need to shave if you bought this, just saying. You wouldn't ever need to shave. But also, no, it doesn't gross me out in the slightest. Like, Lou is always shaved. She likes to be hairless like me. But if Lou one day turned around and was like, I'm going to stop shaving my legs, I'd be like, you do that, babe. <laughs> like, I don't care. As long as she's happy and she feels comfortable, I, I'm not bothered. She likes shaving. That's what she likes to do. She likes to have, like, hairless. Well, she's got hair in her arms. She doesn't shave her arms. But it doesn't bother me. Literally don't care. Yeah, I, I really don't care. <laughs> I'm not bothered either way. It never grosses me out. I've never, like, been with a woman and been like, oh, she's got, like, hair on her underarm. Or, like, oh, she's got, like, hair on her legs that she's missed. Like, I really don't care. I'm sure your partner doesn't care either. It's literally just hair at the end of the day. Some people prefer to be smooth and shaved, and some people like to have a little bit of fur. The next question I got is, what is your most embarrassing sex story? I saw this one come through and I honestly don't know if I have anything embarrassing because I really haven't slept with that many people. Like, I can count on two hands how many people I've slept with. Um, I don't even know why I'm beating around the bush. I don't care if people know how many people I've slept with. It's not even a big deal. Um, I've slept with seven people, I'm pretty sure. I think it's seven people. It's like seven or eight. So, I haven't really, like slept with like loads and loads of people so I don't think I've ever been in a situation to have something really embarrassing happen because also I've never like done a one night stand or slept with someone that I wasn't like seeing so like I I just I've never been in that position like I've always known the people quite well that I've slept with um so I've just never been in that situation where I've done something embarrassing okay I can think of two instances one I used to have this habit of like kneeing people in the vagina. I don't know why, I cannot even tell you why, but I have done it to multiple people. And it's like, I'm moving up the bed and my knee is just like doosh, and they're like, ah! and I'm like, why, why? Like, I guess that's kind of embarrassing because I've done it multiple times and like kneeing someone in the cooch probably isn't the most romantic thing you can do in bed. Um, so that's probably one of them. And then the next one is probably, I was with someone, she got her period, and I think she was embarrassed, but I wasn't embarrassed, but because she was embarrassed, it made it a little bit awkward, you, you know, like, I didn't care, it was like, just pass me, like, a piece of tissue, and I'll, like, go shower in a sec, like, it's no big deal, um, like, I really, like, hand on heart, I was not bothered in the slightest, didn't care, but because she was like, oh my god, I'm really sorry, I'm really sorry, like, oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. I was like, it's okay, it's okay. Like, I could tell that she was really embarrassed by it. So that made it a little bit awkward because, like, I was so calm and she was so panicked that it was just like, I don't know what to say because I literally don't get, it was like, I don't give a shit. Like, I don't care. Like, I'll just jump in the shower in a sec. But she was like, the world's over. So I don't know. That was a little bit awkward, but not really embarrassing for me. I don't think I've got any apart from kneeing people in the cooch. I just don't. Next question I got is, are you a top or a bottom? This might surprise you. It definitely will surprise you. I'm a top. 100%. I'm a top. Like, I'm not a bottom. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Nope. The next question I got is, how did your family take you coming out? So, um, I came out when I was like, I don't even know how old I was. 14, maybe. I think I was 14, around that age, so like a really long time ago now, like that just seems like, I don't even remember it, like I don't even remember saying I'm gay, like it was such a long time ago, but nobody really cared, the only person that cared was my nan, I don't know how many of you guys have been around here since I posted my coming out video, um, I came out to family first, and then I kind of maybe a year or two later, uploaded it to YouTube. I'm pretty, I literally can't even remember. I think that's what happened. I think I came out to like immediate family first. And then like a year or two later, I uploaded it to YouTube, I think, and like publicly came out. Um, so yeah, everyone took it really well. My mom was like, okay. My mom was just like, so you'd actually sleep with a woman. I was like, yeah, she was like, that's, uh, but okay. And I was like, yeah, okay, cool. And then um, my granddad didn't care. My granddad's wife didn't give a shit. My other granddad didn't care. The only person that was upset, I'd say, was my nan. 
um, but she has done really well with it. I'm really um, surprised and like proud of how far she's come with it because my nan like cried about it and was really upset about it, which I'm not saying that that is ever the right reaction or ever the right thing to do or even a justifiable thing to do, but she made a mistake towards the start of it all that basically she said something towards the start of it that really upset me and I told my mom about it and my mom was just like my mom was like the most like gay rights ever like what she said she kind of said to my nan like if she was straight you never would have said that to her and like all this and was like you can't you know you need to treat her the same as you treat me or Lauren or blah 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 and my nan I think she felt really bad about it so she's done loads to like make up for it and she's been so lovely and so welcoming with Lou. Lou is like the first person that they've really been introduced to. They've kind of met people um, but I've never had someone like stay around with family or like come for dinner and stuff like that. Lou was kind of the first person that I felt comfortable doing that because it takes me a long time to feel like that and me and Lou had been together for like a really long time before that even happened because I don't know why I'm a really like self-protective person but me and Lou have like stayed at my nan's house and like gone around for family meals and everything so my nan's been amazing with that now and she's come such a long way and she's made such an amazing effort with Lou um like Lou's in the family group chat and stuff like that so she's come a really long way so I think all in all my family took it really well and they all literally love Lou <laughs> they literally just like love her to pieces they think she's amazing and they're just really happy that we're happy I guess so they all took it pretty well the next question I got is tell us more about your girlfriend and what you like about her I thought this was a really really cute question look at Bentley Ooh, my little baby I thought this question was just the cutest so let's start with the what would you call it like the not artificial oh my god I've literally forgot their name like the like the things that don't matter like appearance and stuff like that what is that called not artificial <sighs> wait I almost had it materialistic wait is that no I don't know what it is you know what I mean like looks and stuff like that obviously they're not important it's what's inside but let's start with the more like artificial things I can't even think of the word so firstly the thing that I obviously noticed about her was that she's like gorgeous like so pretty like literally if you would say to me what is your type I'd be like small brown hair brown eyes tanned like pretty face good bod she ticks all those boxes like she really ticks all those boxes she's like five foot she likes to say that she's five two she's not she's five foot I'm pretty sure maybe five one um, she's got like really sparkly brown eyes like the prettiest color of brown eyes. She's got like thick black eyelashes She's got amazing skin like just like from like a skincare point of view amazing skin It's so even and like there's not a single like blemish on her face or like scar or like any type of pigmentation I don't know how she's done it She literally like takes her makeup off with like a baby wipe and like washes her face and that's it <laughs> Like, What the hell? I don't know how she's managed it um, She's got really thick dark hair She's tiny, she's tanned, she's just adorable. She's the prettiest thing ever. Like, she is literally the, like, she's just the cutest. Like, she's so pretty. I just, oh, I love her little face. She's got, just got a little, like, nose and it, like, turns up at the front. It's just adorable. But other than the, like, artificial, materialistic things about her, I was literally thinking the other day, like, I think if you were to be able to see Lou's heart, like, her soul her heart I feel like I could actually get emotional talking about this because she is just the nicest I just love her so much oh my god I'm actually why am I crying right now I'm whipped get me a lead and a collar but I feel like if you could just see her heart it would be covered in like gold and glitter and have like flowers all over it because she is just the most beautiful person inside and out and I think because she has that like beautiful soul it just shines out of her face and you can just see it and she laughs constantly I've never laughed so much in my life she is just the oh my god why am I getting like I'm whipped I'm actually whipped like someone help me 
she's just amazing and I love her so much she's so thoughtful and kind and loving and like I don't know like she's just amazing she is just amazing and the way she is with the dogs like she's just <laughs> the cutest thing she's so fucking cute like she is the cutest thing i have ever met in my entire life and she is the most beautiful woman i have ever ever met in my entire life and every single day i just feel so lucky to be with her there's actually this song that was in the sound of music and i was listening to it the other day and the lyrics i was just like oh my god that is so fucking crazy and it's like Perhaps I had a wicked childhood, perhaps I had a miserable youth, but somewhere in my wicked, miserable past there must have been a moment of truth. For here you are, standing there, loving me, whether or not you should. And I was just like... Mm. <laughs> like, I just, yeah, I just love her and like, it's just so nice feeling like I'm really part of a team and that we have mutual goals and I mean my biggest priority in life whether this makes me sound whipped or not but i feel like that this is the way it should be when you're in a relationship but my biggest priority in life is lose happiness and just making our life together that is my biggest priority like i want to make sure that we have a beautiful house not just for me but for her i think that she deserves everything in the world that she wants and I want to be able to give it to her. Not that she needs things giving to her. She's a very, um, what's the word? Where are my words gone? I'm on my period right now, so my brain is like mush. She's a very independent woman. She doesn't need anything doing for her, but that's, I'm a, I'm a giver. I'm a, I'm a Pisces, <laughs> so I just want to be able to give her everything she wants and more. I love her so much, if that's not clear already. <laughs> The next question I got was, what is your biggest influencer drama? I have never been involved in drama, apart from my recent video that blew up on TikTok and everyone was giving me grief. <laughs> I don't know why, but everyone kicked off at me and I was like, are you really blaming me for the actions of men? No, hun, that's not on. I would say that I was kind of involved with a little bit of drama with an Instagram influencer. So her name's Katie, she does like, um travel related content she lives in paris i'm not gonna give her exact username but if you follow her you'll probably know who i'm on about her work is beautiful like absolutely beautiful i loved following her everything she created was just so stunning and perfect like absolutely perfect content so beautiful um but i started noticing this like common theme i mean i started the drama here so like it's down to me like i was the one that started it i guess but i kept seeing this common theme of like people be like oh you're so lucky to have this and she'd be like i'm not lucky i work for it and i was like oh my god and she'd get kind of like aggressive with her responses like people would be like oh my god you're so lucky that you managed to do this like you must be so happy and she'd be like i am not lucky i worked every single day for 27 hours a day to get this blah 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 and i was just like oh my god so i sent her this dm and was like hey i saw this like i sent it in like a constructive way hey like even though you worked for this like you're still really lucky like it would make you feel so much better to realize how lucky you are like having gratitude for the things that you have really makes such a difference in life and she was like i am not lucky you don't know my background um i came from like a poor family in like belgium or something and i've worked for everything i got and i was like totally with you on that totally get that and i was like i come from a very poor family i had a very rough childhood and i have also worked for everything i've got nothing has ever been given to me ever in my life i've never had a handout like ever i don't think i've ever been given money for no reason you know what i mean like a family member hasn't come up to me and be like oh here's like five grand you keep it like that has never happened to me like not even with 50 quid not even with 20 quid you know what i mean so I kind of said that to her and I was like, but still, I know that I am so lucky to have this life and even though I've worked hard for it, somebody else could work just as hard and have not have achieved these things and not have the life that I do, so I know how lucky I am. And she was like, no, if you work for something, it's not luck. And I was like, yeah, but you could have been born in a third world country and not, been, not even been able to do this. You know what I mean? I was like, you could have been um 
I was like, you could be in a wheelchair and have it like really hard to like get to all these different places where you shoot travel content. You could have been, I was like, let's be real here. You're a really beautiful, attractive woman. And that makes it a lot easier to have followers. Like you have so much to be grateful for and so many things make you lucky. And she was just like, no, I'm not lucky. I've worked for everything. And I was just like, Bleh. like just seemed so like ungrateful. And I was just like, Bleh. like shit like that grosses me out so much. Like, holy shit. Like you, like you live in Paris. Like, you don't, like, how are you not lucky? Like, you have a roof over your head. You're so fucking lucky. You have connections to the internet. You're so fucking lucky. You have food to put in your mouth. You are so fucking lucky. Whether you worked for it or not, you could have been born in a fucking third world country and have to walk for three miles to get clean water and you think you're not lucky. You're living in a Paris apartment with a 5,000 pound camera with Dior shoes and you don't think you're lucky. <gasps> what the fuck? I was just like, you're such a bitch. Bentley agrees. I was like, oh my God, like how can you be so like oblivious and like ungrateful? I was just like, mm -mm. like I don't think you're a very nice girl i didn't say that obviously i didn't say to her i don't think you're a very nice girl i was just like okay if that's how you see it and just like blocked her and stuff like that but i was just like oh like that sort of behavior is so gross like you're sat there with an iphone and you don't think you're lucky think again you have food to put in your mouth you're so fucking lucky you know what i mean and i was just like oh my god like i can't even imagine being so ungrateful i cannot even imagine i cannot so yeah, they are all the questions I'm going to be answering for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for all of your support on all of my recent videos, all of my recent TikToks, Instagram posts, everything. It honestly means the world to me. The dog's barking right now. Of course she is, obviously. Also, thank you to Kenzie for sponsoring part of today's video. I literally love this product so much. If you haven't bought it already, don't forget to use my code and head to Kenzie.com, K-E-N-Z-Z-I.com or use the link in my description to go check it out literally freaking amazing can't recommend it enough honestly girls guys gays this is amazing love it can't recommend it enough don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok and i will see you next sunday with a new video bye